Little Quentin Simon was just 20 months old when he was last seen in his home in Savannah, Georgia on October 5th, 2022. He lived with his mother, Leilani Simon, her boyfriend, Danny Youngkin, and his grandmother, Billy Joe Howell. The boyfriend woke up, saw the child at 6 a.m. Mother woke up at some other time later uh, and then reported the child missing at 9.39, I believe the call came into 9 Local police and FBI began searching for Quentin that very day. Uh, we have yet to locate uh, Little Quentin. Uh, we continue to investigate this incident. Um, we got some assistance from the FBI. Uh, we got numerous interviews to conduct today, um, as well as downloading uh, phones and things of that nature. Leilani Simon tells police that Quentin's biological father, Henry Bubba Moss, took him. So authorities go to Bubba's home more than an hour away. He was being questioned about uh, where he was uh, overnight, uh, October 4th into October 5th, and um, uh, proved uh, to police satisfaction anyway that, that he had nothing to do with it. Has there been any contact with Quentin's biological father? Uh, we have had contact with him. He's After a week of searching for little Quentin, the Chatham County Police confirms everyone's worst fear. Quentin is believed to be dead, and his mother, Leilani, is the primary suspect, but no charges or arrests are made. What are you doing? What is going on here? Where is the FBI? Where's Secret Service? Somebody needs to find this baby and lock her up. After that announcement, all eyes turn to Leilani. Protesters, podcasters, and YouTubers gather outside of her home day and night. Nearly three weeks after Quentin was reported missing, Leilani and her mother finally speak out in an interview with WTOC News. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. Then 47 days after Quentin vanished, law enforcement find remains of a human child in a local landfill and they arrest Leilani Simon. Our search teams at the waste management landfill found what they believed were human remains. This afternoon, the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia, confirmed that they are, in fact, human remains. Additional testing, including a DNA analysis, is being conducted, and we have every reason to believe that this will confirm the remains are Quentin's. Simon faces charges of giving a false statement to police, concealing a death and malice murder. Those charges now uh, fully indicted. That is the big news tonight in the case against uh, Leilani Simon for the murder of her own child, little baby Quentin. I want to put up on the screen part of that indictment because it includes false statements and it gives you a little more insight into part of the investigation and what uh, they believe happened here. Leilani Marie Simon did knowingly and willfully make a false statement by having admitted that she had left her home in the early morning hours of October 5th, 2022, and had traveled to the Azalea Mobile Home Plaza, falsely stating that the purpose of this trip was to meet her friend Misty to obtain Oragel. Having admitted that she had discarded something in a dumpster at the Mobile Home Plaza, she falsely stated that all she had discarded was normal household garbage. They believe she went there, and that's where she discarded baby Quentin. Leilani Marie Simon did knowingly and willfully conceal that in the early morning hours of October 5th at the mobile home park, she discarded her son, Quentin Simon, in a dumpster. That's the big news tonight. She's been indicted. This is a case in Georgia, and tonight in our live think tank, all Georgia criminal defense attorneys, Daryl Cohen, Meg Strickler, Lawrence Zimmerman with us. Lawrence, what's the significance of going from being charged to being indicted in Georgia? That means that 16 to 23 people who sit as grand jurors for six months, they hear the charges presented by the district attorney, hear witnesses testify, and they find probable cause to believe that it actually happened, they return a bill of indictment, and that kicks off the rest of the case. And when you say kicking off, so what happens next? There'll be an arraignment where they plead not guilty or guilty. Obviously, they'll plead not guilty. Why do they do that, even if they're guilty? Well, Why, they, how do they, they do that? Because arraignment's when they read the charges to you. I've, and so, especially in a murder case, I've, no one's going to plead guilty to murder at an arraignment. 
highly unlikely. Because we don't have the uh, discovery. We don't have the right. evidence yet. So I'm not pleading anything. We plead not guilty. And even if there's the evidence as a defense lawyer, if you let your client plead guilty or suggest to him or her to plead guilty at an arraignment, that's ineffective assistance of counsel. You can bet on that lawsuit. You can bet on those habeas is being filed. True that. It's a guarantee, as they would say. Well, I mean, you could, I mean, if you have all the evidence ahead of time, that happens. But it's unlikely in a murder case to work it out unless they worked out a whole deal ahead of time and they yeah. get a good resolution. It's okay. just unusual. So where do you see the defense going here? And I always say the defense has to come up with something, um, uh, right? So no, what? You got to strike that from the record. Come up with, we why? don't come up with something ever. We just use the facts and we make sure the government gives the facts. So don't be saying no, we, we come no up burden. with stuff. We exactly. have no burden, Our statement's not guilty. Oftentimes you come Thank up you. with something. No, we well, do not. Well, you come up with something because it's presented to you as an example. What would I do? If I had to represent her, and I would not want to represent her under any circumstance. You're going after the boyfriend. You're going after the boyfriend who was no, there that morning? No, or not you at don't? all. I would go after having her psychiatrically examined to see that she was just off balance. I mean, she's obviously a liar. She's obviously a murderer. She hasn't been yet convicted, hasn't yet been... Good save. Right. None of that. <laughs> but isn't it interesting that she said she put normal garbage in the garbage place where she treated her child that she obviously killed as garbage. Again, obviously killed. Horrendous. We don't know what happened yet. But uh, we know. I do think the government has some straight, some good evidence. When you see a 20 plus count indictment happening so many quick months after, this is only a couple months after, like we already said earlier, you normally don't want to indict so fast. So this leads me to believe that they've got her kind of caught right hand, or right, whatever the phrase is, they've got her. And so that's why you have the false statements in that indictment as well. And this is why you don't plead someone guilty at arraignment, because both Meg and Daryl talking about how she probably is guilty and I haven't seen any of the evidence yet. Yeah. So we don't know. Right. We don't know what she said, how she said it, and what that orgel, what she did statement, can the police really tie her to that? Did she make that statement? Um, she was in custody and wasn't read Miranda. Will that statement get thrown out? I think the did video cameras are going to kill her. Did they do cell tower uh, triangulation to determine she was in the area? There's a lot that go into this. I'm not, who knows? We don't know anything but I yet. Think they, right, it's I malice think, murder. But what it's does really that mean? stupid to speak to the police make a statement. Malice right? murder. Think she's going to be, if convicted and if entering a plea, she will get life with or without parole. How about My the death guess? penalty? Not, not for in taking case. the life of a child. Not, Why not? She deserves it, but not in this case. You know, circumstances are not going to fall in all fours with the death penalty. I agree with that. You no agree? Death, yeah, no death penalty. You know I'm not a believer in the death penalty, so I'm, I know you don't believe in yeah. it, but do you think prosecutors could seek it no, down why? in Savannah? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess the, it the about, ultimate betrayal of trust. A aggravated. child depends upon exactly. his or her parent for everything. I don't know, know, the, aggravating, I don't know the aggravating factors, factors that are. triggers the death penalty under the statute. Right. So what what she yeah. deserves. The, the age of the victim doesn't? What she deserves is not in Georgia. She deserves trying to escape and being given the death penalty right then and there. On the other hand, if she is guilty, and I really believe that you will find the evidence says she is guilty, then a long and Try excruciating... This is my kind of defense attorney right here. <laughs> right? Alleged, this, this is the, I mean, this is one who will objectively look alleged at... Alleged defense attorney. Well, right. <laughs> you know what? I said something today at the DA's office. I said, you know, when I was an assistant DA, assistant state attorney, all the people were guilty, save a very few. When I got out, I was the only former prosecutor who represented guilty clients. <laughs> all the rest of my buddies, male and female, all said they're all innocent. innocent. I said, they're not. They are not. Oh, okay. my, my, my. I'm going to move my chair over a little bit. Well, let, let, me, ask, let me ask you this. Be, because there's, there's three people in the house, at least, right? There's the boyfriend. There's also Leilani's mother, which is baby Quentin's grandmother. She's now under arrest as well. We've got an updated photo of her we can show you. Um, Contempt of court are the charges. We don't know much more other than that. Um, if she's a witness for prosecutors, but she's under arrest for contempt of court, has her own legal troubles, uh, what does that do to this case? Nothing. Nothing. It's Nothing. a contempt of court is a 20-day max jail sentence for each count of contempt. Maybe she didn't appear for subpoena to grand jury. That's why she was probably held in contempt. Exactly. I'm guessing, but that's probably it's sounds nothing like big it is. at all. Yeah. 
Does it impact her credibility yes. as, as, a, as a potential witness for the state if she is? She doesn't want to cooperate against her daughter. She's probably not going to testify against her daughter. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I think she will. If but she testifies I, against I absolutely think she will. There was something going on in that house. She has said it before that if my daughter's responsibly, I'll, I'll be the one driver down to the... Her daughter, 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 daughter said that. Her daughter, her daughter, daughter said, said that. She, she said, she said she if I did it, I'll station. drive myself she down. Said it. She said, I'll <laughs> right. go down yeah. to the police station. She just station. didn't have the opportunity to drive herself down. Somebody picked her up and brought her to the jail. Exactly. All right, now take us behind the curtain. Um, she walks into... Well, she's not going to walk into her lawyer's office. Her lawyer's going to go visit her in the jail. Exactly. Uh, but what's that meeting like? What, what, what do you want to find out? If she meets with Daryl, meets with me or Meg. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Daryl is there. Uh, I admit it, because when I think the evidence is there, the first thing I try to do is work out a deal with the prosecutor. If I don't think the evidence is there, I handle it in a very different no, way. No, what I do is I go to the jail right away, tell them I represent you, and then I say, shut up, even talking to me. Let's not talk right now. Let's see what You don't want her to tell you what really happened? Not at this stage, no. I don't want to hear about it. What I want to do is try to get out on bond. You know, there's a possibility of getting her out on bond. Then we have a good place and time to really focus on her defense. I'd rather not do it in the jail. And no. plus... Not and even James is going to get her out on bond. Listen, you tell your it's client, don't, to get her out you tell your bond. client, it's don't possible. talk to anybody, don't tell you, don't talk about in the jail. Exactly. Nobody's your friend. Don't talk on the phone. All your calls are recorded. They're listening to your calls right now. We're going to fight your case. We're going to get the evidence. We're going to challenge all the illegal searches, seizures, all the statements, whatever the police have done. No we're, question. We're like, going to challenge the indictment. No yes. question. Like, hey. Did you do it? No. No, God, you no. can't. No. Well, you I, asked can't. My you... I asked my client to tell me what happened. No, but I don't mean to do it. My first visit, I just do a meet and greet. I, I always just do a first yeah, hello. And these circumstances different. It just yeah, depends. exactly. True that. True. It just depends on the comfort level, how well I know the client, or how I, you know, just, it all, it's all depends. Now, this is this is someone who has spoken. She's given a lot of statements. She's sure. spoken to everybody. Which sucks um, for us. She was also, when her child was missing, seen partying. Um, Casey Anthony. Yeah, kind of right. like Casey Anthony. Ooh. But now Casey Anthony, remember, she was not guilty. No, she either. was guilty. The jury didn't find her. I got Jose, <laughs> Bi I got Jose Bias on the phone right now, Daryl. He's <laughs> right. okay. I, you know what I think. All right, folks, I, he here we go. We've got a hearing coming up January 11th. January 11th. Um, there is no trial date yet, but we'll see what happens at the arraignment. We'll see if she pleads not guilty. And, of course, we'll continue to track this uh, murder case out of Georgia.